Good morning. Today, like usual, I'm going to speak, but I am not going to give lectures on medicine. For 25 years in the Birla Hall in Bombay, with a capacity of 1,000 to 1,500 students and doctors, I taught till, of course, the corona came and we stopped. And every time I took a lecture, I kept one hour to show my private cases from a clinic. So like that, I have been showing this patient on how to examine, how to talk. And there is a daily collection of four to five hundred patients, which I've got during the last 25 years. I realized that that will be more useful for GPs than lectures, usual lecture. I'll get today, I'm going to show you a sample of that. You know, 40 years old, he, he looks hardly 30-35 and on examination he is less than 30, very healthy, very healthy and uh, 40 years old, 40 is quite a big age you know and he is tall, he is absolutely normal weight, he has no punch. So he works on the police station and really speaking he came to me because he got frightened that you are the Sangeet Lada operation surgeon? Operation, he Sangeet Lada operation by the moment he said operation so naturally he got frightened. He came to me for backache. So backache of three months duration and the Kamarcha Dukha Kude Khali Zata, Dakho? Khali. See, it goes down up to the air. He touched it up to the air. Saitika. Up to, if he doesn't touch up to there, it's not Saitika. If he says only up to here, up to, it's not Saitika. It, I can, up, any backache can go up to the thighs, up to the knee. Osteomalacic backaches are all both sides and they're going up to the knee. So common, any backache. But he's shown it right, he's showing up to the foot. So this is sciatica pain and three months have passed. Three months, what is significant points you must remember. See, surgeon will easily say operate. But the point, what is significant is that all the three months he has been going to work to be Kamala Date Rose, Rose, Kititas, Bharatas. 12 hours he is in the police station, correct? He is working 12 hours on the police station. It's very significant, these points. That in twelve, uh, in, in, in three months, he is not taken off even for three, four days and lie down in the bed. Every point of this should be considered before you ask for surgery, for sciatica. All these points have to be considered. That this gentleman has not taken one day off, ek divas off Ketanani to me, buddy. I am highly impressed. Then I am seeing a sciatica where this policeman has been going to work 12 hours per day without taking in bed rest. And the surgeon says operation. operation. This is not a tumor, this is not a cancer that you want to operate. Anyhow, the fact is, he te shuru zara te dakwa? Me possible. Huh? Me my name. Ah, name. Kaya hote, Thoda. See, see how he is showing. See how he is showing. Dakwa, dakwa, dakwa. See the area, see the area which is showing. Everything is important. That this man has a backache, he goes down on the right side, up to the foot, he has shown the foot. Three months duration and now for last few weeks, he has got that paresthesia on that lateral aspect of the foot, right foot. That is easier. Now, tell the letter. He, he, Dako. Letter, Dako. So, the letter, I wrote down, very healthy Maharashtra, hailing from Solapur. So, you see, my me for backache, right side, side, of three months duration. He has been on duty every day. Pain increases at night. 
रात्री दुखते जास्ती सकाळी रात्री सकाळी एट नाईट सो ऑल दिस पेन एट नाईट आर सिग्निफिकंट आय मीन यू कॅन डिस्कार्ड दे फॉर एक्झाम्पल फंक्शनल बॅक एक्स दे डोंट कम एट नाईट पॉस्टरल बॅक एक्स दे डोंट कम एट नाईट बट नाईट डिस्क पेन्स स्पॉन्डिलो आर्थ्रोपथी सिरो नेगेटिव्ह कॉम्बिनेस कनेक्टिव्ह टिश्यू डिसऑर्डर कॉजिंग बॅक एक्स दे ऑल कम एट नाईट and early in the morning but it is better after moving around and it increases while coughing sneezing khokla gela to dukh chinka gela to dukh he he is very clear in his mind he is not like functional those those women who come no middle age you ask them anything chakkar eta doka dukh kamar dukh hite pan dukh sanda dukh ashakti mana everything they will go on monday you know they do, they want more attention they want more attention from the doctor examine me properly eh? i have got multiple complaints that is the psychology here is a man who is very clear in his complaints that the pain increases on coughing sneezing there is numbness in the right lower outer leg of 15 days duration on examination straight leg raising sign is positive right ankle jerk is markedly diminished but right toe movements are normal slight hypostasia on the right lateral foot of course then borderline diastolic blood pressure calls for reducing to back when alcohol comes the only comorbidity comorbidity 40 year old man and he has hardly any comorbidity by 40 you have some other illness in the body so i am saying he is very fit man diastolic pressure is 90 so i said tobacco whole day it reduce it alcohol 3 times big 60 ml reduced to 30 ml and we'll observe that's all so i want to show you this physical science beautiful physical science and i want to yes asad hope hope mant de sam as as hope hope as nahi nahi kya bazu mant de asad khali and he khali paint bharti gaya tumhe bas he is alive bharti and tumhe khali hope ekdam hope so if you have this patient how will you examine such a patient and how will you how will you evaluate look at that mri there i i don't know what to see where to see because you would get an mri like that and these people go on writing full page disc between 2 and 11 and 2 l2 and 3 also disc he he's got symptoms of l4 5 like s1 but they will say l2 3 also disc that is also bone that's also bulging there is so and so this diminishes this disc so advise surgery so advise surgery the surgeon says that no how can that tell you that he needs surgery nothing i don't want to see that like really speaking why because i wanted to know this mri is done okay there is no tuberculosis no secondary cancer deposit no no other gross disease rare there are so many other rare diseases of the bones that's all now i want to examine him and so i i i he has got a right sided pain and this so i start like that straight same you know? on the normal side i am lifting he can do so much so i have seen his normal i didn't start from the abnormal i must know how much can he because there are types and types of people people with very poor physical conditioning they cannot do this much no because their physical conditioning is very poor so when you evaluate them accordingly well here when i do like this on this side bas look he can't do more than this. he is not comfortable so this means straight leg raising sign is positive that means it is consistent with sciatica consistent with sciatica now the next thing that i want to see his jerks now again see how i examine the jerk i am seeing the left because unless i know his left how do i evaluate his right unless i know how much does he relax some people are they they wanting and they see this in your hand 
they are prehensive. They, you can't get the reflexes. And how are you going to hit? So I will see him here. It is a good thing. So I want to now see this here. And see, beautiful. Can you see there on the screen? Beautiful jerk. Now, such a beautiful jerk he has got. The right should also be beautiful. He is young, 40, healthy. Now, I try here. Diminished. You can still see it. It is not gone. You can see it, but it's not as good as this side. Here, beautiful. Beautiful. Here, I would say, 30 percent, but it is there. Then I was telling you, now that means possibly S1, he's got a compression and now I want to see his most important this moment. First, on the normal side, to Varti Gya, Mara Sir, Varti Gya, Varti Dhamma, Mara Varti Dhamma, Zora, 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 very good. Now I want to see this side, Dhamma, Dhamma, Zora, Zora, Ari. Absolutely normal. Damn good power. How can I send this patient for surgery? I mean, how much compression has he got that he should go for surgery? If his S1 is gone and he, oh, oh my God, he's so good. He's so good. Khali gara, khali dama, khali, khali, khali dama, khali He's so good. No question. That yes. There is a slight hypothesia he's got and that pin this hite and hite kiti farak hai he shambar he kiti kami kiti 50 percent panna kiti kami 20 percent less in this much area, he has got less sensation. He te and he te. He, he normal. Shambhar taka. He kiti? Same. He te and he te. Thoda kami. Bish taka. 20% less. So this is the area of S1. See, S1 comes like this, like this. Now, if, he, if these are his physical signs, there is no question. Bara? Yes. Hala, yeah. The dusra paper that for second page. So my advice is not even bed rest. We used to advise this is due to prolapse disc. So give him bed rest for four weeks, six weeks, let the disc come settle down. Nothing doing. He goes to the office, let him continue going to the office. My, no question of that. The second page. What advice are given? will be that I have advised him to take a transforaminal epidural injection of steroids because the root which is being compressed must be edematous there may be edema there there may be fibrosis there on that root three months have passed so steroid can get rid of the edema fibrosis and the pain can go Start doing back exercises. And show me the back exercise. Me kasa da kola. Da ko. Kasa da ko. Zopun da ko. What back exercises you should do? The most important back exercises will make the back muscles strong. Here, ne. Asa bharti karo. Ha. Kar. Da. Kar. See. He is raising this. Once you raise this, even if you raise little, thoda arda thoda kara. Ha. Iti. Ha. And maintain it. Count 20, 25. Again, parat, parat, parat. These, these are the exercises which will make his muscles strong. Thank you. And then, not only that, dakhwadara, letter, that he has to, letter, swimming three times a week for one hour. Very important. Swimming. He is going to go, these are, this is a treatment. I mean, if you can buy a drug from abroad for backache, sciatica, why can't you do this? This is the best method. Then early in the morning and night when he is, he has to use thermopad, heat, early morning 20 minutes, 
at night time before going to bed. And early morning he can use his bed for a few hours when he is very painful, no, just for one or two weeks. We don't encourage bed too much because it produces more muscle weakness rather than. So MRI shows mild compression, the chances are it should subside with medicine injection and it, it could subside with medical treatment. 10% chances he will need surgery. I would put less than 10%. Maybe 1% that he'll need surgery. He's going to recover completely and he's going to work already. So this is the management of that MRI which is shown that give it back to him. Give it back to him. He spent so much money on it. When they spent so much MRI like kiti 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 kharcha kela? Tina. Three thousand rupees they spent. They will like to preserve this and they won't showing everybody what they have got. But the fact is the MRI does not help you at all. It will show compression, it will show so what? Nothing at all. But it rules out tuberculosis, secondary deposits, multiple myeloma, some other conditions. And now give me a big hand. Give me a big hand. Thank you. Okay. The second fellow.
Hey. We now come to the tongue and the mouth. And all I want to show is this. That, you know, here is the tongue which when I was in the postmortem room, I told my assistant to take out the tongue of a patient and show it to me. And normally when I see um, liver, spleen, kidney, they are so smooth. They are so smooth, you know. When I saw this, the tongue, tongue, this is full of all this kachara there. What, what is this? These are called as papillae. They call it papillae. And these papillae, they, they hold the food. For when you eat, some food will, will be held by that. That will cause a little coating. So, what you are saying, these are papillae. This is a normal coating. There should be a coating. Moment there is no coating here, it is a spot diagnosis. He is taking antibiotics. Antibiotic glossitis is the commonest glossitis in practice. You see the clean tongue. The tongue cannot be clean. It has to show some coating. So it's a clean tongue, no papillae, red, inflamed, change the antibiotic. Finish. And some, sometimes there is too much coating. This can be caused by drugs. Here, metronidazole causes so much coating that he has difficulty to swallow. Now, the tongue color, all the patients like you to see the tongue. Remember that. Most of the time, it really gives no information. I am telling you, frankly, majority of the times. But patient is happy that you have seen the tongue. If the tongue is so pale like this and smooth, smooth like a marble, smooth like a marble means the abnormal. There should be papillae, there should be coating. So this means this is grossitis, but due to iron deficiency. So it looks very pale, anemia, anemic. So from here you can diagnose severe anemia because in the past we used to see this to see anemia, we used to see the nails. No, no. And if you really want to diagnose iron deficiency, if the nails become flat or concave, concave. You can put a drop of water there. Then that patient has really got iron deficiency. Otherwise you can only guess. This lady was going to so many doctors because of this coating. She thought this was abnormal coating. Coating there, coating there. This has got a geographical tongue. A patchy coating which is normal. Which is normal in many people. You see this, angular stomatitis. For years, when I was a student, we were taught riboflavin deficiency causes this. For years, we thought vitamin deficiency. Doctors go on giving vitamins for this. It is not due to vitamin deficiency. This is due to fungus. Of course, you must do HIV of the patient. But it is a fungus. The moment you give antifungal treatment, Local and tablets will disappear. It will disappear. But if you see something like that at the angle of the mouth and tell the patient, oh, take this ointment, take this tablet, the patient will laugh at you. The doctor, this is not the first time I have this. I have this every time I get some fever, I get this. Herpes simplex, no treatment. No treatment. Moment you get this after an illness, this is called herpes simplex. No treatment, it subsides by itself. By chance, when you are saying to open the mouth and he can't open more than this, diagnosis, 
Chaitanya's. Imagine with so much of advances in medicine we have got, so much in diagnosis. There is nothing which can diagnose Chaitanya's. There is no test to diagnose Chaitanya's. It's a clinical diagnosis. And if you miss it, Chaitanya's can cause death. So, this is about the mouth. Halitosis, bad smell from the mouth. So often it is due to bad gums and all that. Bad gums and infection there in the mouth. But this patient from Yemen used to complain of very bad smell. This poor fellow went to Russia, then Rusi they call it, then he went to London, and then um, then he went to Germany, Almania they call it. They put all tests, nothing, they could not diagnose anything. Ultimately he got fed up and came to Bombay some, and they were told my name. When I examined him, you can see there is no nail here. He has been eating all this. Nail biting, but nail biting to what extent? What extent that he has bitten the one third of the old nail? So that means whole day, and he says he is he is to bite. It is the keratoprotein in the stomach which are causing bad smell. If you see a gums bleeding, there are local causes of the gums, etc. Please remember, in an alcoholic patient, if he complains of bleeding gums, liver disease has to be excluded, number one. And then we come to the commonest tongue condition, commonest condition, and that is aphthous ulcers, they are known as stress ulcers, so many names. But the best name should be stress ulcers. Why? Because they are due to stress. Now, this is, again unfortunately, with so much advances in our medicine, we cannot still find out what is aphthous ulcer, why do they come, how do they come, how do they go. We know nothing about that. So they go on blaming stress. Stress, they say, stress can start from the school because of your lessons, because of this. So, right from school children, adults, throughout life, it's a common, every day in your clinic, you will find at least one patient who had, who had or who has stress ulcers. They call it aphthous ulcers. And if you see the tongue coating, coating is normal. If coating is normal, then tongue is normal. There is no glossitis, but they can occur on the lips. Here is in the inside of the lips. Or upper lip, for example, here. So these patients, they come and trouble you because they are so painful. They can't eat food. They get so fed up. They have taken treatment from doctors. Some vitamin, all vitamin injections, the injection, they just don't improve. The fact is that these ulcers heal themselves. All these ulcers heal within 10 to 12 days. Even if you don't give them nothing, you, so you assure them, give them confidence that this is due to tension, stress. You are having stress. What is the pro problem in your family? What about your children? What about money? And then you explain to them, they will subside with themselves. Now, there are a lot of corticoids, steroids, topical to apply. If you apply a topical steroid, this immediate relief of pain. So, this 
so much so that when patient comes with multiple three four ulcers and bad and the steroid rescue course can be given just like in asthma asthma when you give a rescue course same so there is the meaning of rescue course is only this you start with 40 or 60 mg of prednisone continue it either for 5 to 7 days or you can start reducing but this rescue course of steroid is helpful in patients who don't respond but one thing i must tell you that last few years now of course i stopped practicing for last two three years after covid but i have tried thalidomide thalidomide is a beautiful drug which was banned by the government because in pregnancy it caused side effects it is again in the market if you give thalidomide 50 mg twice a day to patients who get recurrent stress ulcers and are miserable not to everybody but somebody is getting again again and again again and again then that is the best treatment beautiful results with thalidomide 50 mg twice a day in patient who don't respond to any of this remember that biopsy has to be done has to be done because all these rare condition like like in penis it's a skin disease so often it can affect only mucous membrane although it's a skin disease how will you ever think of it you can't so you do a biopsy and all these rare conditions can be diagnosed by doing biopsy in sinusis blue in the past i would tell the patient to bring the relation see how pink it is this is bluish and he comes again again i see his lips the lips of my house physician pink you see the lips are blue he is got sinusis so today this sinusis business nails put your nails put his nails you can see blue today this has been solved by your pulse oximeter today the pulse oximeter is present everywhere even in the normal houses they have bought because of corona and if you see this white thing like this that is candida that is candida fungus infection and if you see fungus in it adult first thing is to exclude hiv hiv because this is the priest actually whether priest or no priest once there is a fungus hiv has to be done this is again a glossitis patient and then some patients have got normal fissure tongue they call it they no treatment some patients have got the pigmentation in the past we thought it was malaria kaiza normal pigmentation some patients have got black tongue we call it black tongue normal it's normal pan people eating they have glossitis so papillary are gone means so this is pan glossitis actually you just should and next we come to this and this and this these this are the two instruments to to do very helpful in examination of the mouth you see in the when the hiv came so people said no it is better to this use this and dispose it out throw it away but this this if you use you can really see the term in interior of the mouth otherwise it's very difficult to see because you tell the patient open the mouth the patient open the mouth he thinks you want to see the tongue you tell him don't take out the tongue only open the mouth and now you put this on the tongue and press it 
Once you press it, you can see the whole back inside. And you can see how dark it is. And therefore, the torch. A strong torch to see. This is an area notorious for cancer. You will see, you will be surprised. Even the PET CT scan can miss cancer in this area. But the best is endoscopy. If you do an endoscope, you can't miss a cancer. And of course, commonest condition, tonsillitis, pain in the throat, high fever. Fever is important. High fever, pain in the throat. No cough, no cold, no hoarseness of the voice, no other symptoms. And that is streptococcal infection, streptococcal hemolyticus infection. And even if this This is by chance, this is one of the best demonstration of a chronic <coughs> people diagnosed with bronchitis, this, that, pharyngitis, allergic pharyngitis, where the whole throat is pale, throat is absolutely pale, and you can see it is nearly white, and this. Look at the pallor, the pale throat, very, very common, very, very, very common. Dry cough persisting, it's pharyngitis. You should not miss it, it really speaking, no very good treatment for that. And the condition like and you dysplasia, which you can only diagnose clinically. Okay.